Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Far Wonder test in Sapphire. Simply open a browser on your laptop, enter the IP address of the Sapphire tester, and log in with your username and password. So the first thing you do is to click this testing button and go to Firewalls under test. On the left, you'll see a list of firewalls under test on your chassis. If you click any of them, you'll see the firewall information on the right. To create a firewall under test, you can either create one from scratch or base it on existing one. First, let's create a firewall under test from scratch. To do that, click Create New. On this new firewall under test page, there are five simple steps. First, we select a firewall model from this drop-down list. If you can't find it, there's a generic option at the bottom. Second, choose a firmware version. This information is important because it helps Sapphire do a more detailed performance comparison. Now focus on this panel. This is really important. This is where you tell Sapphire which features are enabled on your firewall under test. And really, this is what makes Sapphire an outstanding solution. Being able to quickly and easily measure how different features on your firewall impacts its performance. So you can figure out how to get the right balance between security and performance. The last step is to choose an exit method for this firewall. This information is used by Sapphire to monitor firewall resource usage and clear the firewall session table between test iterations. Click Create and Save your firewall under test. The other way to create a firewall under test is to base it on an existing one. To do that, click a firewall under test on the left and click Create From. As you can see, firewall model, firmware version, features and access method are already set. Now, all you need to do is to modify them and save it with a new name. All the firewalls under test are securely stored in the database on your chassis. When you configure a test case, you can select a firewall from a drop-down list. This will be covered by another video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.